Hey guys, welcome back to my new series, my audiobook series. Now, last two, now the last two chapters I did together. So here's 13 and 14. Also, 13 and 14 are kind of combined in together. So, yeah. I think so, anyways. So, yeah. Chapter 13, and POV. I woke up and got ready right away and knocked on the guest room. I'm awake, but I'm feeling kind of sick. Can you leave me alone? Yeah. I hope you feel better. Well, that took the joy out of my day. Marcy feels sick. Well, besides that, I went downstairs and started to train. Now, I trained until I heard some another thing hit the wall upstairs. I wondered what it was and asked Bert if I could check it out. He said, go ahead. Now, Anne, didn't you say Marcy was feeling sick? Yeah, she is. Then go, up, check, up, then go check up on her. Uh, thanks, don't mention it. But then I ran upstairs I had to go check. I knocked on the guest room. Hey, Marcy, I heard something hit the wall. Are you okay? Before an answer, I heard something hit the wall again. Yeah, I'm okay, Anne. Nothing to worry about. Okay, then come open the door. I want to see you. She paused for a minute. Yeah, one minute. After a minute, she opened the door. Are you hurt? I heard something hit the wall. Yeah, I'm not hurt. Okay, you don't look sick. Well, it's just a cough, but I think it might be a, might, might be a little distraction. No, no distractions. Okay, I'll be done in a bit. Okay, I'll wait for you. Okay. Then she went back in the guest room and shut the door. Uh, I went back downstairs and told Bert what happened. So, she's okay? Yeah, she is fine. Now, and she's coming down in a bit. Okay, good. Then I went back to training. After a bit, Marcy came down and watched me. Then when the day was over, it was a long, it was a long, it was long. And I was... And I was tired. Me and Marcy did the same thing, and hang things, th same thing. Hanged out and talked. Hey, I didn't hear you cough all day. Are you really sick? Yeah, I guess I just feel better today. I'm glad you're okay. Me too. We talked for about an hour until we had to go to sleep. Me and Marcy said goodnight to each other, and we went to sleep. I fell asleep right away. I think it's because I was tired. I woke up in the morning feeling fresh and ready to train. I got up and got ready. Then I knocked on the guest room. I'm awake. I'm coming. You know what Marcy said? Okay. Then Marcy opened the door, and she was holding her head. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just a little headache. Okay. Then we went downstairs. I got to training right away. After a while, after a while, I kept looking over Marcy. She still I kept holding her head. A little headache? A little headache? I think not. I kept training, though. After a few minutes, I looked over. I looked back over at Marcy, and she was still holding her head. Then she stood stood up and walked upstairs. I informed Bert I was going to check on I was going to check on Marcy. <clears throat> he nodded. I ran upstairs and followed Marcy. She went in the guest room. Hey, are you okay? You can tell me if you're not. No, I'm fine. It's just not it's not a little headache. I'm getting worse. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, it's okay. Then that's okay. I'll be fine tomorrow. Okay. Then I gave her some space and went back to training. The day ended, and then they went to sleep straight away. I was tired, but I was kind of worried. Why is this happening to Marcy? It's never happened to me. Yeah, I tried not to think about it. I woke up and got ready. Then I knocked on the guest room. I got an answer right away. I'm coming. She looked better, but I noticed she was shaking. Are you okay? You're shaking. I'm fine. No, just shaking a little. It's a normal thing with me. Okay. Then we went down. Then we went downstairs, and started. And I started to train. After a while, Marcy left. I followed, I told Bert, then followed, then followed her. She ran, ne she ran ne next to, to the wall uh, uh, of the training room. What was, hey, you okay? I'm fine, Anne. I promise. But I don't know what's happening. This never happened to me before. I mean, I got sick sometimes without an explanation, but this is, but this, this is never happened, but this never happened. Hey, it's okay. I don't know why this is happening either, but I can promise it will be, it will stop. How is your friend doing? How's your friend? They doing okay? They're fine. They left Woodward when I told them they need to stop using me to get in. Okay. Okay, good. You don't never hurt them, right? I know. You won't. I smiled at her. I smiled at her answer. I guess she smiled because of me. You're still shaking. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I will shake until sunset. It always stops at that moment. Okay, good. You look scared. I know. Some new, some new Toby has saw me shaking. Looks well, scared, so I'm used to hear that. I'm so used to hearing that. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, we should. We went back to the training room. She watched me, and I trained. 
I got tired from hitting the same thing over and over again. I was trying to push through a couple more punches until Bert said you're dismissed. He did this today to me every day. Bert takes a monster hunter aside after training and supervises them how they have been doing. It was my turn today. He, he said, stop to reserve me. Good for man and good force. Just one thing. Yes, Captain? You need to work on your eye view. The monster will take advantage of you if you're not looking at it. Okay, okay. I'm ready to go again. Okay. Go when you're ready. No rush. I focused on punching bag and uh, focused on the punching bag. And whenever my eye view was going coarse, I focused back on the punching bag. I punched it again and again. I did this until Bart said stop. He said it. I stopped. Good job, Anne. You're uh, you're the best so far. You're dismissed. Thanks, Captain. I said yeah. Then I walked out of the private jet training room. I looked out through the window and the, I looked out the, the window and that was in the front and saw the sun going down slowly. I heard Marcy coming out behind me. Did you do good? She asked me. I turned around. Yeah, Bert said I was the best so far. That's good. Yeah. Then after a while, and then after a while, Marcy started shaking so much. Does this happen when it's about to stop? I got no answer. Marcy just walked past me and went upstairs. I thought it wasn't like Marcy to do that. So I followed her. I ran upstairs and saw her go into the guest room. She didn't close the door. I think she forgot. I tried not to make noise. I walked where I could see she was on the floor, shaking so much. I made a noise. She looked at me. And get out of here. Get out of here. Run. She said, Jeff, what are you talking about? To, I asked, worried. Just get out of here. I can't explain right now. Go in front of Bert. Bert. No, I'm not going to leave you here by yourself. Then I've been lying to you. I'm sorry, Ann. Sorry about what? I asked, confused. Then Marcy fell on the ground, and I noticed what was happening. After I saw fur appearing on Marcy, the transformation was quick. Marcy turned around, and I backed up, scared. She lowered her head and looked at me. She was the Marcy Far. Okay, so here's chapter 14, Anne's POV. I, lo- I was looking at Marcy, scared. I know she was the. I know she was lying, but I knew it was to save her skin. She was growling at me. I backed up and pulled out my gun to shoot her. I aimed it at her, then I dropped my gun. Not because I knew I didn't want to hurt her. Luckily, the gun didn't shoot when I dropped it. I bet Bert and the others heard all the noise. I heard footsteps coming up the stairs. I went to go stop them. I got up, I got to the stairs just when they came up. Stop! I said, standing where you get up. Man, what's going on up there? Uh, going on up here? Bert asked me. He stood up on the floor. I backed up, given space. To stand. Nothing, me? Marcy was just playing. I lied. Okay, are you two okay? He asked me. We're fine. No, nah, Captain, I promise. I lied. Again. I lied again. Okay. Then Marcy made a noise. Bert pushed me aside and reloaded his gun. I didn't know what to do at first, so I ran up to Bert. Captain, everything was okay. Why don't you put your gun away and leave me and Marcy to play our game? I think you're lying, Ann. I need to check out the noise in the guest room. Move we'll aside for your Captain. I didn't want to be disrespectful, so I moved aside. Just don't hurt her. I said quietly, I don't think Bert heard me. He walked out of the guest room and knew he saw Marcy. Hey, hunters, get in here. He ordered all the monsters, the monster hunters to come in, to, come to him. But they all ran into the guest room and saw Marcy. I ran, to the, I ran into the room where Marcy was growling at them because they were aiming their guns at her. I ran up to her. Stop! I said, standing in front, so they... Yeah, we're aiming their guns at me. Anne, step away from the monster far. Bert said, ordering. No, we will not. Anne, I gave you an order. You are disobeying you, Captain. No, listen to me. But then Bert interrupted me. I told you to step away from the monster far. Now step away. I looked worried. I didn't step away. <clears throat> I turned around and hugged Marcy. Her fur was so soft. And then I stopped hugging her and turned around. Why are you hugging it? Because I know something you don't. I said mad because she didn't listen to me didn't let me talk what do you know that i don't he asked me lowering his gun the monster far is then the hunter shot a bullet from his gun luckily marcy protected me from it with the back plate she had it bounced off i guess one hunter thought it was bert and started shooting then all the others started shooting shooting marcy was still protecting me then bert joined in for whatever reason i guess marcy was fed up with the shooting and stopped and stopped, she stopped protecting me and started attacking the monster. I saw what, ha- well, I saw what was happening and tried to stop it. Marcy hit the hunters into the wall, then ran up to Bert and growled at him. He loaded his gun and pointed at her. 
I saw this and ran up. I pushed down his gun so it shot the floor. Then took out his hand and threw it on the floor. Stop. He looked at me. I know you've been tracking down the Martian farm so you can contain it. But it's harmless unless you threaten it. And you threatened it. Also, right now, I learned that if you threaten someone who they have a strong bond do it with, they attack. Okay, okay. Sorry. Okay, okay, sorry. But it's dangerous. It must be taken into containment. Then he pulled out a speaker recorder from his belt. No, you're not doing that. But he turned around and started talking to the speaker recorder. I couldn't hear what he was saying. After he was done, he put his speaker recorder in his belt. Then no, no, I was fed up, so I tackled him. Hey, I'm your captain. Get off of me, he yelled at me. Well, not my fault, Marshall Farr is my friend. And I'm trying to protect them. I know they are. Your fr- I know they are your friend, but they need to con- be contained in the amphibian monster prison. Toby, for a reason. They will attack innocent people. They will attack people who threaten them. I can't do this. You are disobeying me. I'm ready to fire you. Then he nudged me a little. I guess Marcy was pissed by this physical contact. She went to scratch board, but then I pushed him out of the way. Look out! Then Marcy's claws came down and scratched my cheek. I fell on the ground. Marcy realized what she... It did, and looked at, and looked scared. Bert came over to me. And are you okay? It, he asked, kneeling down. I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Then Marcy backed up and jumped out the window. She was fine. Mm. Bert got up and grabbed his gun off the floor. I stood up. Captain, it's okay. It really is. You don't need to do this. Sorry, Anne. I've already informed the Monster Patrol and Utopia. I need to get the Monster Far stunned before they do it. Do, wait, what happens when they do it? They take down the Martian far by force. They put a muzzle on it, and then they inject the stun dart with two darts. They don't mess around. Also, they will hurt it, hurt them if they don't pass out with two darts. That's why you need to dart it before they do. No, they don't show mercy in darting monsters. Okay, go. Just don't, just don't hurt them too much. I won't. Then jumped out, and then he jumped out of the window. I followed, jumping out the window after him. This was chapter th- this was chapter 13 and 14. Chapter 15 will be up soon.